Well, Nintendo, you blew it. You blew it. What's going on, everybody? This is No Friendo, and I want to talk about this recent announcement of Paper Mario coming to the Nintendo Switch expansion pack, the online service for the, you know. But anyways, if you guys are new here, you guys like this kind of content, you guys love Nintendo Switch, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. So anyways, guys, that's right. We got the announcement of Paper Mario coming on December 10th, 2021 in uh, the Nintendo 64 expansion pack. Now, the expansion pack has been out for a couple months now, and it's okay. It's just okay, to say the least. Yes, there are some pretty fun games to play in the Nintendo 64 category and on the Sega Genesis category. And also, we get, you know, the Happy Home Paradise DLC that comes with, you know, the expansion pass. Um, but this is... Other than that, that's all we get. And it's a $30 extra upcharge to add on the expansion pack. $30 extra a year. That's a lot of money for just a little bit of content. Now, I personally don't really care about the Happy Home Paradise DLC because I'm not I don't play Animal Crossing. You know, maybe if they would have threw in some other DLC with this, you know, maybe for I don't know. Uh, Breath of the Wild or Mario Maker 2 or, you know, Cruisin' Blast or, you know, whatever. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, like something extra with that. That would have been kind of cool. But, you know, for the gamers who do like Animal Crossing, I'm sure they're going to really appreciate this. and They're going to have a good time, and that's awesome. For me, no. No, it's just not something that I'm into. So, with the announcement of the expansion pass we also got other announcements uh that will be coming to the nintendo 64 line of games and those games are the legend of zelda majora's mask banjo kazooie paper mario kirby 64 the crystal shards pokemon snap f zero x and mario golf so those are the other games that are supposedly coming to the nintendo switch online in 64 expansion pack so we just got the announcement of Paper Mario, but where are the rest of the games? Six more games that are supposed to be coming to the Nintendo Switch expansion pack for the N64 games. We got one of them announced. Paper Mario, right? That's really disappointing. It really is because this is a sign to me that they're going to start trickling games out like they did with the uh, the NES and the Super Nintendo. We got a big chunk of games at first, like 20 games for each console, and then they started trickling them out here and there, and they're hit or miss. They're Some of them are really terrible, and some of them are really good. Like when we got the Donkey Kong trilogy, that was awesome. And then we got some really terrible games. I'm talking about never, some games I didn't even heard of that were just dumb. And it's really disappointing that they might be doing that again with the N64 games. I mean, look, I get it. If it was $20 a year for all these games, then it'd be one thing. I'd be happy with it. I wouldn't gripe all that much. But it's $50 for a single subscription and $80 if you want to add on a family subscription. It's ridiculous. I don't know why Nintendo is doing this. And I think that we need to do something as gamers and as Nintendo's fan base or... You know, we need to do something. We need to do something. We need to change this. They need to understand that they can't do that to the gamer. They can't. I mean, the service alone is very minimal at best. I mean, there's no native voice chat. There's no themes. There's none of that. And online play with some of these first-party Nintendo games like Super Mario Maker 2 is absolute garbage. Now, some games, on the other hand, like the new Mario Party uh, Superstars, that online's really really well it, it, it plays really well i haven't had any issues at all but it's hit or miss with the online play too so something needs to change and i don't know about you guys but i'm, I'm sick of it because this is really expensive since i've added on the expansion pass i've only played it a handful of times and you know the emulation is not very good at, at best it's not very good the um, super mario um, or mario kart 64 uh when you're playing um, what is it? Wario Stadium. You'll see some footage. I played a little bit of that earlier. And the music will just cut out. Like halfway through the track, you know, halfway through your race, it just cuts out completely. And then it'll just come back. 
you know, and there's been a lot of issues with The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, which is one of Nintendo's greatest games ever created, and one of the greatest games ever created in video games, and there's a lot of emulation issues. That should not be a thing. We're paying a yearly service, a yearly fee for this service. This should not be an issue. You know, us gamers, us Nintendo fans, need to step up and need to say something. We need to use our voice and our pockets and our money and our wallets and say something about this because this is getting out of control. I, I, I just won't have it. I will not subscribe again if we're going to be trickling games out. You know, I, I have to pay to play online. So, you know, I can play these other 60, this uh, Nintendo 64 games on, uh, on an actual N64, which I have in my collection. I don't need it on my Nintendo Switch. And the Sega Genesis games, yes, there's some really good ones in there. You know, like Castlevania Bloodlines and Shinobi 3 and, you know, uh, Contra Hardcore. Those are all great games. But, you know, those are games that are, you know, you can play those anywhere. You can play them in the, um, the Sega Genesis Classic Collection that's available for the Nintendo Switch. So, you know, it's, it's pretty disappointing that we're not getting more for our money. And to me, now that they have announced Paper Mario and there's no other announcement of F-Zero X, I want that game on here. I want it, like, now. They said that these games, these other, what, let's see, seven games would be coming to the Nintendo Switch expansion pack by the end of this year. So they're going to just throw in one? I, what's going on, Nintendo? Why? You blew it in my mind. You blew it. Uh, like if I could, I could can I would cancel my subscription and try to get a refund. And I, I don't know if we can do that. Maybe we can. Maybe we should call Nintendo customer service and say, "Hey, I'm not happy." And I think a lot of you should do that. Say, "I'm not happy. I want a refund," because this is ridiculous. I mean, um, Xbox uh, Game Pass is ten dollars a month, right? If you do it monthly, that'd be one hundred and twenty dollars for the year. And there's some excellent, excellent games on there. Some really heavy hitters. I mean, some really good games on Game Pass. You know, we're almost paying as much as Game Pass. You know, $80 a year for a family plan, $50 a year for individual. I mean, we should be getting, we should be getting better games, guys. We should be getting better games. You know, it, and maybe it's a storage thing. I don't know. Maybe it's because the Nintendo Switch doesn't have, you know, um... Uh, enough storage or whatever they don't want to market it where you have to buy a memory card i mean you, you know you have to but you know what i'm saying like you know some of these games are pretty big but if they threw in like say breath of the wild's been out for four years now almost five years maybe even five years i don't know but throw that on there throw breath of the wild on there as free to play as long as you have the subscription you know kind of create like a nintendo game pass type style and i talked about this before in other videos but you know, what about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2? You know, or Cruisin' Blast. Throw those games on there. You know, why do we why do we have to go with just the retro? Why can't we get some other, you know, heavy hitters that are current generation games? Um, it's just, it's ridiculous. I don't, I don't, it doesn't make any sense to me that we're paying this much for a yearly subscription and they're going to start trickling these games out again. So we're going to get this, what, other seven games within, like, the next year or year and a half? That doesn't seem right. What about adding on, you know, other consoles? You know, they, like I said, they added on the Sega Genesis, as you can see here, some footage of it. But, you know, add on some Turbo Graphics, Neo Geo, something else. I mean... I don't know, guys. Just let me know down in the comments below what you think about them trickling games out again. And, you know, I'd love to talk to you about the Nintendo Switch online service in the comments. I think there definitely needs to be a change. And I definitely think that us gamers need to speak up. You know, we're paying for a subscription that's very expensive. It's something we will never own, you know, physically. I mean, we can't. If they decide to cancel a subscription, we're toast. There goes all of our money. So I want more. And I believe that you guys do, too. So that's why I wanted to make this video. I'm a little irritated that we just got the announcement of Paper Mario and that's it. We didn't get the other games announced or when they're coming or who knows when they're coming. They're not, you know, transparent with us. And Nintendo needs to be because we're paying for a subscription now. You know, watch what Microsoft is doing with Xbox, Nintendo. Come on, quit being like this. It's ridiculous. And so, I don't know, guys. I'm done ranting. Let me know down in the comments below, like I said, what you guys think about this. And I will see you guys on the next one. Have a great weekend. Bye.